ShireSociety.com. Science fiction author Orson Scott Card has this concept, which I will call the Abner Dune Gambit. Dune was a mid-level bureaucrat uh, in early life. In one of Card's novels, Dune serves the empire of capital, a sort of partial galactic empire. It covers part of the galaxy. He decides that if, if, the, if the development of his civilization goes much further, things will just get too easy. The game will end, the way he looks at it. And he likes the idea of the game continuing. So he practices in simulations the idea of destroying a society from within. He joins a simulation of 20th century America, uh, actually 20th century uh, Earth, and he takes the role of Italy uh, in 1914, roughly. Now, in this Scott Card, Orson Scott Card novel, people watch simulations like sports. The uh, people who are the very best at them get everybody watching them, and they're very interested in, in who's the best. And Dune basically sends gangsters to intimidate the best player into quitting the game uh, and giving Abner Dune his position. So th this, this genius who has taken 1914 Italy and turned it into a world you know, power dominant uh, you know, in the 1980s, suddenly has Abner Dune come on the scene. And Abner Dune's goal is to take this perfect society in the simulation and t destroy it. So he does all these things that, oh, well, you know, actually, they're kind of the kinds of things Obama does. Seemingly random cruelty, lots of expensive wars for no particular purpose, pissing off the entire world until one day in the simulation, uh, Italy finds itself invaded by Americans, Germans, British, Russians. It's, the, the empire is laid waste. Then, Dune takes his ideas and employs them in the real civilization that exists in, in the year 2400 or whatever it is. He maneuvers himself into a position where he has enough power to pull some of these kinds of levers. And he really does it. He turns capital, the world of capital, into a slag heap. Not himself, but by angering a bunch of other people until they come do the job for him. And I don't know why it's taken me so long to notice the similarity between Abner Dune and Barack Obama. You have to look at... There are, all, there are only two explanations I can think of for the sort of self-defeating things that Washington does. One would be the simple George Orwell explanation where basically... Uh, government actions are intended to, number one, build support, and number two, waste resources so no individual can get too rich and challenge the government. Uh, to keep the people down, basically. So that's one possible. I I've been thinking that was what Obama was doing all his time. But it's possible. Maybe he is a little bit of a Manchurian candidate slash Abner Doon who has come in over a long period with, with a long plan that goes back many decades to destroy the United States. And by that, I don't necessarily mean its government, but the status of America, if you want to look at it that way. Really, what better way to do it? It's not easy to destroy a country from outside. It's much easier to do it from the inside. Maybe that's what he's up to. You know, another thing is watching Donald Trump, who's basically just a Hitler clone, and listening to him and realizing that this Hitler clone uh, really actually, in many cases, seems to make more sense than Obama. Not much more, but, uh, well, you know, when you look at, there, there are a lot of bad leaders out there. Uh, oh, Putin is bad, he's a bad leader. But if you watch what he does, he, it seems like he's pretty obviously trying to increase the long-term power of Russia as a nation. It's not just about me, Vladimir Putin, and it's not, it's not good. It's not, you know, it's not good to increase the national power of the Russian government over the long term. Or the power of, well, I don't know, the power of the Russian people would probably be good, but... The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at... 
ShireSociety.com.